in today's video i am going to talk about the intermittent fasting and uh, the two types of intermittent fasting that is 16 hours fasting 8 hours eating 18 hours fasting and 6 hours of eating and this is not uh, taken from uh, the co-founder of intermittent fasting or from the internet it is my personal experience that uh, that I want to share it with you guys and if, and if I can shine light on at least one person through this video I will be really grateful so guys keep watching and see you guys till the end hi you all hope you're all doing great and uh, how's everyone how's all your health and uh, yeah thanks for stopping by my channel and uh, taking the patience to listen okay and uh, um guys do you know something about something like you know intermittent fasting have you people tried or uh, do you uh, has everyone tried or uh, got something like uh, good result with intermittent fasting or uh, it hasn't worked for a few of you or is it like you have seen drastic results and uh, like do also tell me like how many hours if you do intermittent fasting how many hours are you fasting is it the basic 16 hours 16 4 no 16 and um, Eight hours, 16 hours of fasting, 8 hours of eating or 18 hours of fasting and 6 hours of eating or 20 hours of fasting and 4 hours of eating. So I think these are the uh, only three that I have knowledge about. Um, yes, one thing I would like to say is that I don't know uh, this intermittent fasting when I first heard it, it was like <clears throat> there's something like nutrient like keto and uh, you know those keto diets and everything some people have come up with a new name called intermittent fasting but uh, after a long time i just browsed what is this actually like many people had told i follow a youtuber and uh, he has lost a good amount of weight and he's actually a food reviewer so you can understand now he's maintained his weight to uh, the best and still he eats he still reviews food uh, but he's maintaining his weight so what he said through him i came to know about this intermittent fasting okay so that is the reason i actually browsed about this and i came to know that it is nothing else than uh, fasting straight without having anything other than water okay so yeah in our uh, indian culture we have observed uh, fasting as a very major uh, thing in our indian uh, custom uh, like uh, for god uh, people used to fast for about um, i don't know the whole day just eating fruits or just drinking water or something so uh, this has uh, it is actually i have heard that here yeah, fasting has very good uh, health benefits it helps to uh, maintain your insulin it keeps helps to keep that insulin uh, what do you say sorry it helps to keep your insulin uh, in a um, balanced way maintaining it insulin levels and uh, it's very good uh, uh, many things all that so uh, what I believe intermittent fasting is like um, uh, see something uh, what I think personally is that intermittent fasting helps uh, when you are trying to maintain your weight okay uh, for me I have just done 16 hours and 8 hours of eating and 18 hours and six, sorry yeah 16 hours of fasting and 8 hours of eating and 18 hours of fasting and 6 hours of eating if hope i said it right so for me what i have seen is that uh, it has helped maintain my weight rather than lose weight because uh, i am a kind of person who has to eat something i cannot be like you know should be just like I cannot control my mind over foods. It's like if I want to eat something on that day, I have to eat. Uh, since you guys know about 
my gallbladder surgery i put this uh, link over here so i have cut down about 90% of my food intake that i used to do before my gallbladder surgery but after gallbladder surgery also i am able to eat few things which really helps me to curb my cravings so i am not a person to i yeah it depends on my mood like as i said it depends on my mood if i feel like having something sweet or spicy or not spicy some savory as you can say okay so i you are hearing that crow call behind it's not my problem i'll try to reduce the background sound but if you still hear so i am around at 1 pm ist so it's definitely the active part of the day so that's what i'm trying to say yeah so where was i i do eat some of those uh, savory things and uh, But still, I have observed that I haven't put a put on excess of weight. Actually, I haven't put on. I'm not like telling I had a big. I have no pizza, no burgers, no cheese, no butter, no milk, solid fats, and uh, no no. Uh, what do you say? All the greasy burger sandwich, all that is cut out of my diet uh, long back ago. It's like if I have to cook something, I'll make something like maida, boda, or something like uh, the banana fritters that you saw on my channel that day. So the small, small things that I enjoy uh, eating, I will prepare at home itself and only eat. I will not uh, take a take away or home delivery or something. So what I have seen is that it has actually helped me maintain my weight. I remember last year during our Indian festivals, I prepared a bunch of sweets. That again, sweet uh, playlist is put up here in the link. You can check that also. I had prepared a bunch of sweets uh, for God's festival, and um, it was all homemade. So before uh, it was like in two months, we had three huge Indian festivals, and start before that first day. i weighed myself and after the after the three festivals i weighed myself and i really saw that i never put on even 500 grams of weight and you know indian festivals there are so many sweets like for one festival i used to prepare like 9 11 sweets like like that so most of that were jaggery also it was not only sugar as i said so that's why i can just go and check out my uh, playlist for that uh what i feel intermittent fasting 16 hours 18 hours that is what i've done it has helped me to maintain my weight and uh, leaving those heavy uh, rich uh, fat uh, gaining foods normal foods it has actually if i have done for one month i have seen a, a loss of 1 kg 1 1/2 1 kg in one month because as i said i do have sciatic a uh, nerve problem that video is also here which i have spoken to you guys about it so due to that i'm not able to be more active i do walking try to do walking here and there but i avoid stairs i avoid strenuous exercises strenuous yoga poses i'm sorry if i'm burping because i have the problem and i just have water okay so this has actually helped me but uh, actually it's not like i'm not losing a ton of weight so i i i am eating the normal food that you can eat for your entire life i'm not only sticking up with green salads and all those things so that is what for me i have felt that it helps to maintain the weight living that uh, uh, i think after you lose your complete extra body fat and come to your bmi weight according to your height and age and uh, whatever um Uh, then you start doing this intermittent fasting and it is good to do your uh, means i believe i can do it for my entire life because yes initially i did face a lot of issues uh, yeah my mood swings i was feeling hungry and i'm not like i have a cook at home morning i get up uh, loading the dishwasher unloading the dishwasher you know there is lot and lot of lot of housework especially in the kitchen so to do cooking on an empty stomach when you are fasting for about 12 hours 14 hours is not a joke but it was difficult in the initial stages but later on um, 
I got used to it. I think it took me about two, three weeks to get used to it. So yes. So uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was I. I I tend to lose uh, go out of topic from. Yeah, as I was saying, yeah, it was difficult initially for me, uh, but later I got used to it. So it was good. It was actually good for me. What I believe is that it helps to maintain the weight, and if it may help you to lose weight only if you are eating something like eggs for breakfast, and a bowl of sprouts for lunch, and a bowl of vegetables or fruits in the night. So that would that is if you eat uh, the food like this in one day, and you do intermittent fasting, uh, like for a month or two, I could really see a lot of weight loss, almost six to nine, ten kgs. But I ca you cannot eat. For me, I cannot eat all those like that. I eat normal, healthy home cooked home cooked food. So that's more than enough for me. Um, yeah. 16 hours what i would say if anyone is looking out for intermittent fasting is that first you know like um, you start with 16 hours uh, i would say that end your meal uh, means it should be a nice heavy meal like uh, like for example at 5 pm you're ending your meal for the day and you're going to fast from 5 pm so I would suggest you not to have something like light food like idli and that because you are fasting for 16 hours and definitely by 10 pm you will become very hungry. So what I would suggest is that when you are starting your intermittent fasting at 5 pm have a good meal. It should be filling. It should not be like overloading your stomach or less but it's not again intermittent fasting is not like this I am telling you if you want to lose weight, not maintain it, okay? I'll come back to the maintaining one. But if you want to lose weight, what I would suggest is that you need to, uh, what do you say? Sorry, where I was looking somewhere, <laughs> uh, the camera, okay. You need to have a good uh, filling, uh, full, filling meal at 5 p.m. of the day and uh, actually, um, something like rice, rasam, sambar, whatever you prepare at home and from 5 pm also reduce your intake of water. See you according you there are many apps nowadays that uh, when you write down your weight and your age and your uh, destin destination weight, your uh, dream weight so it tells you that you need to consume this much ml of water per day and all. So I would suggest to you that if according to your uh, data if it has suggested you to drink about um, nine glasses of water I would tell you that before 5 p.m. I would tell you to have seven glasses of water throughout the day before 5 p.m. so that after excuse me <coughs> so I would say that after 5 p.m. Uh, after your uh, last meal of the day you have one glass of water and before going to bed you have another glass of water so yeah and uh, the next day uh, 16 hours means uh, the next day you need to break your fast at 9 a.m so before 9 a.m and 8 a.m you can you know i would rather tell you to boil like 300 ml of water and add jeera to it cumin seeds and allow it to soak in that and drink it at 8 am in the morning uh, let it be warm that should be fine so that anything gas which has developed will help to release it out and at 9 am just start off with a nice uh, food which is very very uh, calm and cool for your stomach because since you have fasted for about 16 hours you know that lot many it can be a chance that a lot of acid reflexes would happen, a lot of acid would have developed in your stomach. So in order to not uh, put something spicy and fat and greasy at 9 a.m., goes for something like yogurt, musli, parfait, you know, oatmeal or something uh, light which is cool on your stomach, something like milk, something like your uh, dosa or idli uh, don't have vada and all okay yeah vada greasy 
uh, you know cake and uh, ice cream all that see so that uh, that is the thing so start off when you break your fast at 9 am with a good healthy breakfast then uh, you can have something around 12 pm which is again home cooked and healthy food uh, i would always suggest when you are doing intermittent fasting avoid greasy foods you know sometime once a week or something you can have uh, for one meal but uh, i would avoid you if you want to see the result and uh, side by side not experience the side bad side effects of intermittent fasting i would suggest you not to have spicy fatty greasy uh, oily foods avoid it during intermittent fasting okay this will help uh, you your gut uh, means your stomach your intestines not to rebound back also it would help you to wait uh, lose some weight okay so if this is done with 16 hours and uh, uh, for example take it like you have done 16 and 8 hours window for about 3 months and uh, you have confidence that you can even push little more harder so uh, yeah you can then slowly how you need to do is that today if you have done 16 to 8 hours window tomorrow you need to do 18 hours 6 hours window and the day after tomorrow you need to come back to 16 hours 8 hours window and then the next day you need to do 18 hours and 6 hours window so consecutive days okay just eat them don't just go off to 18 hours 6 hours window and continuously do so this you need to do it for about three to four weeks that is about a month and then if you're really comfortable by doing it then you can completely switch over to 18 hours and a six hours window that means 18 hours of fasting and six hours of eating okay so 18 hours is again the same thing see intermittent fasting uh, the result is basically to lose weight eat healthy keep your stomach and gut healthy okay so this can be done i don't i don't know about 20 hours of fasting and four hours of eating i will not recommend also that because that is heights of fasting which is really not good for you at a young age for about if you started somewhere like 16 years to 35 40 years you can do 16 and 18 hours but i would really not recommend the 20 hours of fasting and four hours of eating so do this uh, regularly and uh, yep what do you see you do it and someday you're a human being you would get some cravings so one day you feel like eating something so even if you eat you cannot see that on your skin okay so uh, for example i'm saying like you do one week of intermittent fasting and uh, the next day you feel that you want to eat something like what you crave even if you have that one slice of anything whatever you want that will not show up in the scale the next day so that is what i meant okay so this is uh, what we need to do if we want to lose weight with intermittent fasting is that we need to eat healthy for at least six days a week and on um, at least six days a week on the seventh day also out of your three meals have one meal as your cheat meal that's all if you want otherwise if you are okay with continuing the healthy eating for two weeks very good but if you really have cravings just go for it just have a small just don't have a big vessel of your uh, whatever ice cream or cake and hence i expect to see the results or a biryani okay then we come to intermittent fasting for maintaining the weight so for example you have come back to your dream weight and then you want to maintain weight it becomes more easy because <clears throat> you need not be too much hard on yourself to eat healthy all the time but uh, you can be free with your eating again i'm not saying free in the sense that i'm having pizza three times a week and all that i will have pizza three times a week i will have burgers four times a week but still i'm able to maintain my weight see weight is not only the scales that you see it is what you put into your body okay uh, what you put in see it's uh, basically you keep a transparent bag and you're putting uh, um, just think that what you're putting inside of your body it is good for you or bad for you okay that is the only thing i would say so maintaining weight would be again easy after you come back to your dream weight 
so that is also the same thing uh, the same uh, thing uh, 16 uh, 18 16 18 hours is the same thing but maintaining your weight it would be like little more easy and it won't be you need to see once you come back to your dream weight you will have physical activity it is not like i'm not able to do and all that so it will balance so intermittent fasting i don't know if i would say i would say that it is a lifestyle change it is not just for one month two month three months so better do it mm, yeah so yeah mm, i would say that i have been doing it but as i say um for me i it's tough for me to yeah i know it's bad on me that i'm not reducing weight but yeah i have to do it actually <laughs> okay so uh, do this intermittent fasting and uh, see your life change so that is what i wanted to talk about today um i have given you the review of a common persons a uh, review about the intermittent fasting i haven't seen google and i haven't browsed or uh, took information from the internet and telling you guys in this video it is like my personal experience so it also helps you and once again i have my gallbladder removed but i started intermittent fasting for about after 2 years of my surgery and uh, it's been 2 or 3 months that i am doing it yes for uh, the pers- people who have this uh, gastric reflexes and who have their gallbladder removed it is really a challenge to do but uh, i would say that again if you are able to do do it but do not push yourself that you end up uh, doing something else which you never expected you don't want problems on problems right so that is what i'm saying so uh, first to consult of your general physician or the general doctor that you see uh, regularly that whether you can incorporate inter- intermittent fasting into your uh, lifestyle and if they suggest it again you know better than anyone so you know your body so then check with yourself again like whether this is really helping me or it is not helping me and leading me to some other newer problem then i would tell you to watch out and stop it so anything new that you introduce to your body any new lifestyle change any new food it is that you who knows the best for yourself so i would say that keep a firm knowledge knowledgeable mind about the uh, matter like what you want to start in your life and then only incorporate in your life okay okay guys oh, oh. yeah it was fun talking with you guys like see in my channel i have seen that i have started with cooking videos and i don't see as that much views but uh, my my cha- my videos about diy or uh, yeah i have seen a lot of diys and the kitchen tour house tour living room tour uh, having lot of views and these uh, just, just sitting and talking with you guys has also given a lot of uh, views also so uh, my channel is not only about cooking or anything specific it's like whatever comes to my mind and whatever i feel like doing i will definitely share with you guys this channel so this channel okay so guys so hope you're all doing well great and keeping yourself safe and still following the norms of the covid 19 regulations and protecting yourself your family and your people around you so guys take care thanks for watching please give this video a like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video till then take care guys bye